have one or more debilitated planet in the chart, you could wonder, is my chart weak? Is my fortune bad? I had the same when I put my bird details into this Vedic chart. I have seen and I have Rahu, Ketu exalted, Mercury exalted, Saturn, Vargotam exalted. So I was very happy until I learned that I also have Mercury in Marana Karakastana, Moon in Marana Karakastana, Mars in Marana Karakastana. So um, there are these combinations. So we need to understand what is the meaning of Marana Karakastana and what is the meaning of debilitation or exaltation. If you just go through some database of celebrities and you will do a research of one or two or even three plants debilitated, so we will see a lot of successful people. So just to give a short answer, it's definitely not uh, telling us that if you have any debilitated planets, then you will not get success or your life is failed or your chart is weak or any or such things. And this is because these plants may be really strong because they will get something which is called Nicha Banga Yoga, which is cancellation of debility. These plants could be also in exaltation in Navamsha, which is also part of Nichabanga, or they can be a Vargotam. We will see that on one example. These planets also may be well placed from Aruda Lagna. For example, if you have Benefic in third and sixth from Aruda Lagna, debilitated, then it is uh, working for your favor. This plant is very strong. It is making other people debilitated. So this is a good to have such plant in the chart. First of all, when we are talking about debilitation, it is called Avashta, and this is a part of Diptadi Avashta or the Uchadi where the Adi means the first, so the Ucha is the first state mentioned by the texts, by Parashara or other authors. Ucha is exaltation, Nicha is debilitation, Avashta is uh, meaning it's a, it's a state of planet. So the debilitation or exaltation in the Rashi, this is showing how idealistic you are. The principles, your ambition, you are just dedicated to some rules, regulation, you want to touch the sky, you want to touch the heaven, just like Avatara means someone who is descending from the sky, you just want to touch something big. So you are attracted to those big ideas. We have this uh, term pathos in uh, Greek theater, which is about those exciting, this feeling of excitement, feeling of something glorious happening. So this is all this godly feelings which the exaltation plants are uh, bringing. So this is like a Narayan uh, feeling. Now the debilitation is reverse. It is just showing that you are very down to earth. You are a human. You can be humble, especially in the Vimshamsa chart. If you have debilitated planets, it's very good because it means that you are very humble when it comes to that spiritual uh, approach. So you can do the Namaskar to the Guru, Namaskar to the Deity. You are very humble. You can accept your failings. You can see really who you are. So that's good in the Vimshamsa chart. Now the question would be, how this Nicha Banga happens, which is the cancellation of debility. I have debilitated planet. It is really debilitated or maybe I'm getting some help from other planets. This is the question. And we need to see four things here. The first is lot of the sign in which planet is exalted. The second is lot of sign in the planet is debilitated. And then we need to take also the planet which exalts in the sign of debilitation. And then also we need to see if this planet is exalted in the Navamsha. Now to make it easy, what I do is if planet is debilitated, for example, Sun, it is debilitated in Libra. So I see the Lord of that sign, seventh Lord from that sign and the planet which is exalted in that sign. So for Libra, first would be Venus, seventh would be Mars, Saturn is exalted in Libra. So then we have uh, Venus, Mars and Saturn, these three planets. If they are placed in Kendra, which is first, fourth, seventh, or tenth, to Lagna, which is Asnan, the first house, or first, fourth, seventh, tenth from the moon in your chart. If you have these three planets, uh, for Sun, it was Venus, Mars, and Saturn. If they are placed there, they are giving you the 75% of Nichabanga. So one planet can give you 25% of Nichabanga of that help or cancellation. You don't have debility. It was only uh, you thought you have this planet debilitated, but in reality, it's not debilitated. It only looked like that. It can get help from others and then it can even be 100% if it's in the Navamsha exalted. So just remember that first seven 
planet which exalts in the sign. For example, for Venus, Venus is debilitated in Virgo, so uh, it will be Mercury and Jupiter because it's first and seventh from Virgo, and then planet which exalts in Virgo, this is Mercury again. So for Venus, we have Mercury and uh, Jupiter. It needs to be in Kendra, so again, first, four, seven, ten from first house, which is Lagna Ascendant, or from the moon. So the debilitation sign for planets, so we can check. These are Sun, Libra, Moon, Scorpio, Mars, Cancer, Mercury, Pisces, Jupiter, Capricorn, uh, Venus, Virgo, uh, Saturn, Eris, Rahu, uh, Sagittarius, and for Ketu, uh, Gemini. Now the list of the helping Mars, planets for, for sun. sun, it will be Venus, Mars, and Saturn. For Moon, it will be Venus and Mars. Uh, for Mars, it's uh, debilitated in Cancer, so it will be Moon, Saturn and Jupiter, because Jupiter exalts in Cancer. Then we have Mercury, so for Mercury is debilitated in Pisces, so we have uh, Mercury, Jupiter, possibly we could also take Ketu as the Lord of uh, Pisces, and Rahu as the Lord of Virgo. Then we have Jupiter, which is debilitated in Capricorn, so we have Saturn, Moon and Mars. Then we have uh, Venus, which is debilitated in the Virgo, so we have again Mercury, Jupiter, possibly Rahu and Ketu. Uh, then we have also uh, Saturn, which is debilitated in Aries, right? So we have Mars, Venus and Sun, because Sun gets exalted in Aries. These three planets for Saturn. Then we have the nodes for Rahu and Ketu, it will be Mercury, Jupiter, for Ketu also Mercury and Jupiter, and maybe if, if Rahu is debilitated, then Ketu, because Ketu exalts in Gemini. Similarly, if Ketu is debilitated, then also Rahu. If Rahu is a Kendra to the moon, then it can also uh, bring that cancellation of debility. Um, so if you like the video so far, please click that thumbs up. It helps me with the algorithm to make my videos more visible on the platform. Uh, subscribe if you like to be notified about similar videos in the future. Now let's go back to this topic. So what is important to understand is that Rashi is showing the ideals, Dina Vamsha has showed the real fortune. So we will see that spiritual people, they mostly have exalted plans in Rashi, debilitated in Dinavamsha. For more successful people, we'll see two examples of actors could be reverse. In Rashi, you have many debilitated planets, which shows that you are very down to earth, conformist, practical, you are using the opportunity. <laughs> but uh, in Dinavamsha, you have this big package of fortune which is waiting for you. For example, in the Nadis, it's said that in Kali Yuga, Kali Yuga is the current uh, Time. So, according to the Vedas, is divided into these four yugas: Satya, Treta, Dvapara, and Kali. Normally, Dvapara should be the second, but in this Manvatara, the Dvapara and Treta they are reversed because of the coming of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which is the partial avatar of Vishnu. Uh, so uh, we can know that in which Manvatara the uh, uh, Sri Chaitanya is coming, then the Dvapara and Treta are reversed. Also, the other concept is there: you have exalted planets in the chart, you can also check if they are really exalted using the same rules. For example, you have Mercury exalted in Virgo, so you can check if Mercury, Jupiter, are they placed to uh, Kendra, to the Lagna or to the Moon? Then it means that you are not falling down, because exalted means you are already somewhere high. You have high ideals, you think I'm the God. Now the question is, are this basis on which you are standing? Is it solid? Is the material of that base the steel? Is it really strong or is it just melting? Is it just ice which can melt and you will fall down? So if you don't have these Uchabanga planets to Kendra, to Moon or Lagna, this can melt and you can fall down from the sky. Interesting things is that Mercury is in Virgo and it's also loading the Virgo. He can bring uh, Nichabanka to himself if he's placed in the Kendra. Also, as we said, if you have benefit debilitated in the third or sixth from the Aruda Lagna, it means that these plants are working for you. You are gaining from others' debilitation. You can put maybe other to debilitation. This is a very strong defense system you have. This can also happen in the Navamsha. So if you have Mercury, in the third, six, Jupiter, Venus, and you have the debilitated in the Navamsha, this can work good for you. Because normally you don't want to have benefits, especially the Rajas, in the third or sixth from Aruda Lagna, to be benefiting from Rajas. If you don't want to have Rajas in your life, like Sanyasi shouldn't have any Rajas in their life, it's a super position for you if you want to be a Sanyasi or austere person. Mercury and Venus then third, sixth, is perfect birth to get into that role, which is the final role we all need to take ultimately to get liberated from this uh, earthy plane. And then also, if a Malefic is loading the Kendra and is exalted in Dushtana, this may be problematic because this planet is too idealistic to 
uh, take care of the house and it's in the shambles, it's in the problem because it's in Dushtana. So in this mothers it would be better if it's uh, debilitated in the Dushtana. Also we can note that in that age of planet, natural age of planet or in the Dasha of these Nichabanga planets, uh, you will see that areas related to that planet in debilitation in your chart will get improved. This will be the time when the things are changing. So if you have debilitated planets, then you can see the Nichabanga Grahas or those helping planets, like we said, these three planets. Uh, and then you first get to know how you can get help. So you can see their position, the yoga house and so on. And then also by the timing, you can see when the things were improved. Uh, so we have one example of Alain Delon. He was an actor and he was very, a hard childhood. It said that he was a product of a broken home. Uh, parents divorced when he was four. Then he was taken to the forest parents who lived close to a French uh, prison. And then the forest parents were killed unexpectedly and he moved back with the bird uh, mother. But when he was around the sun age, around 20, around 21, then his career life uh, started. So um, this shows that the sun was debilitated, but it was in the Navamsha exalted. So this is a very nice example how the Navamsha, this is the fortune waiting. You are starting with some uh, challenging circumstances, but then the fortune is going up. Also, you will see the chart of uh, Pablo Bello, who was the Chilean economist, scholar, researcher, consultant, politician. When you see first his chart, uh, he doesn't have, uh, on the first glance, no Nichabanga. He has Venus debilitated, Sun debilitated, Moon debilitated, Ketu and Rahu are also debilitated in the Ayur uh, debilitation. So for mothers of health, Rahu is debilitated in Scorpio. So here, this is quite problematic position and they are these planets who are helping. They are not in Kendra, they are not in um, to the Lagna or to the moon. But what you will notice here is that the Sun and Venus, they are the same placement in the Navamsha. So this is Vargotam position. And just like Prashamarga is saying, if you have this Vargotam and the planet is bad, it is improving a lot. So we can see here the power of Vargotam on this example of Pablo Bello. And then we have also the Patti page and you will see that uh, she also have Sun debilitated and uh, Venus debilitated. Uh, she has also the Saturn Keto in the Lagna, which is bringing this very problematic childhood. And she had that. Uh, but then uh, Sun is exalted in the Navamsha again. So again, around the time 2021, her career life started. So this is showing that if you have this Rashi, plan is debilitated, then just see in the Navamsha because the Navamsha can totally alter the situation for your benefit. Okay, guys, so that's going to be it from me. I hope you have learned how to see the planets now in more depth. You are not uh, blinded by this uh, excitement of exaltation or you are not depressed by the planets debilitated in your chart. You can now see their Navamsha Avashta, how they are in the Navamsha. Maybe they have this hidden fortune. And also you can now find these three planets which are helping the debilitated planet. And now you can see their position. Are they in Kendra? First for 710 to the ascendant or the moon. If they are, it's not really a debilitated planet. It's getting 25, 50 or 75 percent of uh, help. Okay, guys, so please don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe for more and see you in the next one.